Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, November 5th, around 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Geomagnetic storming in progress. We've got the BZ shifting south. We hit KP6 moments ago, and well, buckle up, buttercup. It looks like it's going to be epic. We've got three coronal mass ejections headed towards Earth. Well, two of them aren't, but the third one is, and it's going to be cannibalistic. So we got a lot to talk about. Buckle up, buttercup, and, well, keep calm. It's boom time. Another atmospheric river bringing rain and flood with severe threats to the Pacific Northwest. This steady stream of moisture across the Pacific Northwest will keep the pattern unsettled through Friday. Showers and storms will become more widespread by Wednesday afternoon, and a few storms may turn severe. Damaging winds, hail, and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Three to five inches of additional rain is in the forecast, and this could lead to flooding. Several feet of snow are possible in the higher elevations of the Cascades, and, well, the full forecast is coming soon. Severe weathers, tornadoes possible in Mississippi on Friday, followed by widespread freeze next week. Yeah, the cold's coming. Cold Canadian air is going to come down to the, to the Rockies and settle down along the Gulf Coast Sunday night into Monday. And our coldest will be Monday night into Tuesday for the Gulf Coast. So bring in your precious plants as we take a look at Tornado HQ live. No severe weather being reported across the U.S., just normal activity. Good news there. And now the full forecast. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear and I just did Alberta Peak today, and we're going out to do Treasure Mountain on Monday. So check out all those amazing little clips that we have from our journeys. Today was amazing. And the last two hikes we've done, not a single person was encountered. We've timed it perfectly between hunting season and no one shooting in the woods. And well, no one's out there because no one expects to get to these high heights at this time uh, of the year because usually there's mud and snow and it's just difficult, but not this year. And I think we have another window for another 14 days to nab some of these peaks in the region. So stay tuned for more updates. And now the full forecast. Trapping storm, tracking storms with impacts in the northwest and the northeast U.S. It looks like these two regions are going to be the big winter chicken dinner for snowfall through winter. I'm a little low here. Let me try to adjust these cameras. Man, we're really stacking our time here. A Pacific storm will move across the northwest U.S. through Thursday with low elevation rainfall, gusty winds, and mountain snows. A storm crossing the northeast U.S. will continue with gusty, high winds, scattered rain showers, and limited snow showers into Thursday. Good news for the re ski resorts up there. The snow model on the GFS is epic. It's uh, Here we are Thursday, tomorrow. That's the snow that will fall. We've got snow hitting the high elevations in the northeast tomorrow uh, and just a smattering here in the Rockies. So let's move it through the weekend. Here's Friday. More snow for the Ro northern Rockies. Saturday. Sunday. And into Monday morning. So Michigan is going to get hit with its first snow all the way down in the southern regions. It looks like the whole state will be covered. Little smatches and patches in Iowa will get the first snow of the year, as well as Illinois, Wisconsin, and many other states in the Ohio River Valley. If we move the models through here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, take a look at the snow in the northeast there. Eastern Canada is about to get pummeled. And then if these models hold true, holy macaroni, lots of snow coming for Canada as well as the U.S. through mid-November. A November to remember. Seismic update, no real quakes of note. Normal activity worldwide. Accentuated activity in the Kamchatka as Kilauea is kicking up on the 36th paroxysm. We've live streamed all day today, and we're going to go back live as soon as this show is over, over on Rumble. Oppenheimer Ranch Project, go get that. And now, uh, Worldwide Volcano News. We've got Shivalouche first on the list today, 15,000-foot blast there. 
Semadu, who knew? Now you do 15,000 foot blasts as well. Fuego, possible volcanic ash. Raventador to 17,000 feet, possible volcanic ash at Sun Gay. Popo, possible volcanic ash. Well, yeah, it just erupted. Duh. Santa Guito, sporadic volcanic ash there. Ibu to 7,000 feet. Semadu to 15,000. Fuego to 15,000. Raventador to 17,000. Chivaluche puffing and passing to 15,000. Krasheninikov, 8,000 foot blast today. Semadu to 15,000. And this sounds like a broken record. Santa Guito, 14,000. Ducono to 7,000 today. Ibu to 6. Popo to 20,000 feet. Wrapping up Worldwide Volcano News for the day. Space weather. Uh, and it's looking amazing. We've got major flaring. And as we drop down on Solar Cycle 25, we would expect this. This is when the Carrington event happened and the largest solar flare in modern history occurred which was on the limb. But now these limb objects are facing Earth and the most recent flare is headed towards us. We've got G3, G3, and G1 geomagnetic storming for the next three days. It's spectacular, kids. We've got current uh, G1 geomagnetic storming. Looks like G2 here on the updated oral Arova. <laughs> I what did I just say? And the auroral forecast, the auroral oval, that's what it's called. Here you can see the BZ is shifting far south and diving even deeper south. Right now, let's refresh this. A little jump up to the north, but with that little bump, it's going to keep us in geomagnetic storm for hours. Hours of power, so get out and look up. Unfortunately, we've got the full beaver moon occulting any aurora activity. But we do have uh, a major, so we had this one CME that kicked off off the limb, another one following it, and then the one tonight is going to cannibalize and literally hit Earth. Look at that black plasma region. We could see a major geomagnetic storm on the 7th or the night of the 6th. This baby is fast moving, and well, it's freezing in here. Oh, that group. Yeah, so buckle up, Buttercup. We've got good things coming from space weather. N not a grid down scenario, but nonetheless, some fireworks. Good news there. And a friend of the channel, she's been following us since the beginning. Uh, we've got some of our artwork hanging in our house, her jewelry as well. Uh, a Native American woman up in Canada that's a huge fan. Angela, I don't know how to say her last name, but I'll do my best. Kaju, Kaju, Kaju. Angela Kaju has had a rough patch over the last five years. She moved into like some crap hole in Canada and well, drugs and alcohol were surrounding her. Her mother was sick and she was trying to tend to her and then they moved south or something like that and her mother unfortunately passed recently. And she's been left with nothing but a problem. Her life is a problem. I told her to get to America, and apparently it's impossible for her. But she's trying to get a used vehicle. So if you've got a couple spare bucks, help her to get her vehicle back on the ground. She doesn't have one. She's looking to purchase one that she's found for 4500 bucks. She's only asking for 800 Canadian dollars. That's like 500 U.S. bucks. So I'm going to hit her up with a donation, um, and you should too, if you can. It's as simple as it is. And that's a boom to knowledge. Great footage from our summit today on Alberta Peak. On Monday, we'll be headed up. Rex and I will be headed up towards Treasure Mountain, and maybe we'll find the gold. It's anyone's guess. And that is a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, share this video, click the link for the uh, fastest high-speed internet and the cheapest deal on Starlink. Starlink is free. You just have to pay monthly and you get free installation. Link is below. And please, hook up Angela with a couple bucks, five bucks. If everyone gives five bucks that's watching, she'll have thousands of dollars in a new car. Well, a new used car. And that's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And well...
Pick your battles and pick your peaks. Mm.